Hey everybody, this is Bob with another drone video. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the proposed rulemaking changes by the FAA. And we'll also take a look at some of the rules that are already in place for drone operators. Now, I'm making this video in December of 2014. And many of you will be getting these for Christmas or you've already been flying them and you really don't know what the rules are. There's already been several pilot reports from airline pilots uh, with near misses with drone aircraft. So this is creating a potentially dangerous situation. So if you're already flying one of these or you're planning on getting one, make sure you know what the rules are and make sure you stay on top of the changes that are coming. So let's take a look at some of the rules that are already in place and some of the proposed changes by the FAA. The information I'm presenting today is current as of December 2014 and was compiled by the aviation law firm Riola Law in Charlotte, North Carolina. So if you're not following the rules, you may need a good aviation attorney someday. So I'll put a link to their website, riolalaw.com, in the description of this video. So you want to fly UAVs, better known as drones. If so, you may need to start taking flying lessons. In the next couple of weeks, we should read about a proposed rule for flying drones for civil commercial purposes. Now, I anticipate this proposed rule will require a pilot certificate for manned aircraft. The precedent for this will be that the U.S. Air Force requires its drone pilots to be Air Force pilots and therefore have already completed pilot training. Now, this rule is about two years late. The law is Public Law 112-95, in effect February 14, 2012. Reference specifically Section 332 through 336, it states that proposed rules should be out by the end of 2012, and it mandates that the FAA fully integrate UAVs into the National Airspace System no later than December of 2015. Now, no one anticipates the FAA to meet this mandate as the FAA has only recently started their five-year plan to integrate. In the words of Peggy Gilligan, FAA's Associate Administrator for Aviation Safety, we need to speed this up a little bit. So here's where we are today. The FAA has identified three different type of drones, civil, public, and model aircraft. Civil is the commercial type. Public is for the government operational missions. And model aircraft is recreational. The FAA published an advisory circular 9157 back in 1981 that provides guidance that's still appropriate today for recreational aircraft. The FAA Modernization and Reform Act of 2012 established some special rules for model aircraft in Section 336. Now, you should read both of these documents in its entirety, but here are the highlights. You can fly your model aircraft no higher than 400 feet above ground level, maintain the aircraft totally in your sight, and for recreational purposes only. In other words, not for hire. Now, another thing I should mention, the Academy of Model Aeronautics has created the Model Aircraft Safety Code, which provides additional guidance beyond what the FAA provides. I'll put a link in the description to all three documents. Now, here's what the commercial operators want. The ability to fly a drone weighing less than 55 pounds to an altitude required by the commercial mission out of the sight of the operator. They want to do this during daylight and darkness, and they want to operate for hire. Now, here's what the FAA wants. Integrate drones into the national airspace system, which is the most complex airspace system in the world, while protecting the safety of those in the air and on the ground. Safety being the commanding principle drones must maintain and adhere to the same basic separation standards, not only with other aircraft, 
but with physical land properties as well. Additionally, drones must be able to land safely if contact is lost. Now, in light of all that, it appears that the FAA has decided you must be a licensed pilot to adhere to the safety mandate. So like I said earlier, I'm recording this video in December of 2014, so make sure you stay updated on the changes coming by the FAA. Give us a thumbs up on the video, and please comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy flying.